Good evening, family. It's your brother straight out of Judah. I'm coming at you tonight with day six of the Wisdom Series. Now, without further ado, I had to you know, pause for a thing for y'all. I'll be reading from the book of Proverbs, Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiasticus, and the Wisdom of Solomon. Thank you for tuning in with me this far and allowing me to read to y'all. Like I said in day one, I'm not a preacher. I'm just your brother. Just sit here to read with y'all. That's it. Read along. And have a good time. You know, maybe this could be something we can make a thing out of. Now, without any further ado, I haven't talked too much. Proverbs chapter 6 from the top. My son, if you have become a guarantor for your friend, have shaken hands in a pledge for a stranger, have been snared by the words of your own mouth, have been caught by the words of your mouth. Do this at once, my son, and deliver yourself. For you have come into the hand of your friend. Go, humble yourself, and urge your friend. Give no sleep to your eyes, nor slumber to your eyelids. Deliver yourself like a gazelle from the hunter's hand, and like a bird from the hand of a trapper. Go to the ant, you lazy one. See her ways, and be wise which having no commander, overseer, or ruler, provides her supplies in the summer, gathers her food in the harvest. How long would you lie down, O oh lazy one? When do you arise from your sleep? A little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands to lie down. In your poverty, shall come like a prowler and your need as an armed man a man of Belial a wicked man walks with a perverse mouth winks with his eyes and shuffles his feet points with his fingers perverseness is in his heart plotting evil at all times he sends out strife Therefore, his calamity comes suddenly. Instantly, he is broken. And there is no healing. There are six matters Yahuwah hates. And seven are an abomination to him. A proud look. A lying tongue. And hands shedding innocent blood. A heart devising wicked schemes. Quit to run to evil, a false witness breathing out lies, and one who causes strife among brothers. My son, watch over your father's command, and do not forsake the Torah of your mother. Bind them on your heart always, tie them around your neck. When you are walking about, it leads you. When you lie down, it guards you. When you have woken up, it talks to you. For the command is a lamp, and the Torah is a light. And the reproofs of discipline, a way of life. To guard you against an evil woman, from the flattering tongue of a strange woman. Do not desire her prettiness in your heart, nor let her captivate you with her eyelids. For because of a whore, one is brought to a crust of bread, and an adulterous huntress hunts a precious life. Warren Talbot. Would a man take fire? to his bosom and his garment not be burned 
would a man walk on hot coals and his feet not be scorched? So is he who goes into his neighbor's wife. None who touches her goes unpunished. They do not despise a thief if he steals to satisfy his appetite when he is starving. Yet, if he is caught, he repays sevenfold. He gives all the wealth of his house. He who commits adultery with a woman lacks heart. He who does it destroys his own life. He finds smiting and shame, and his reproach is not wiped away. For jealousy enrages a man, and he does not spare in the day of vengeance. He does not regard any ransom, nor accept your bribe, however great. That was Proverbs chapter 6. I pray that you let these, these wise sayings from King Solomon sink down into your heart. Think about what's being conveyed here by him. All right. Now let's move right along to Ecclesiastes, or as I like to like like to say, Kohelet, chapter six. There is an evil which I have seen under the sun. And it is great among men. A man to whom Elohim has given riches and wealth and esteem, so that his being lacks none at all of what he desires. But Elohim does not permit him to eat of it. A foreigner consumes it. This is futile. And it is an evil disease. If a man brings forth a hundred children and lives many years, so that the days of his years are many, but his being is not satisfied with goodness, or indeed he has no burial place, I say that a premature birth is better than he. For before it comes in futility and goes away in darkness, and in darkness its name is covered. Even the sun it has not seen, it has more rest than him. And though he lives a thousand years twice over, yet he shall not see goodness. Do not all go to one place? All the labor of a man is for is for his mouth, and yet the appetite is not satisfied. For what advantage has the wise over the fool? What advantage does the poor have who knows how to walk before the living? What the what the eyes see is better than what the desire goes after. That too is futile and feeding on wind. Whatever shall be has already been named, and it is known that he is the son of Adam, and he is unable to contend with him who is mightier than he. The more words, the more fut futility, and what is to man be advantage for who knows what is good for a man in life all the days of his futile life which he passes like a shadow for who declares to man what shall be after him under the sun that was Ecclesiastes or Kohelet Chapter 6. Alright, family. Well, we done took on the cannon. Now let's head on over to the Apocrypha. Um, so 
bought a Seifert uh, sometime this year. Like, at the beginning of the year. And I ain't got nothing against it. That huge. I would read out of there, but I don't want to get tongue-tied right now. So I'll just stick to my little red and my my little blue for the, for the time being. At some point in time, we will tackle that because I got some stuff in there I want to read, too. But here we are. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, I jumped. I jumped. I jumped. Yep. Yeah. All right. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 6. Hear, therefore, O ye kings, and understand, learn ye that be judges of the ends of the earth. Hmm. Give ear that ye rule the people in glory in the multitude of nations. For power is given you of Yahuwah and sovereignty from the highest. Who shall try your works and search out your counsels? Because being ministers of his kingdom, ye have not judged the right, nor kept the law, nor walked after the counsel of Elohim. Horribly and speedily shall he come upon you, for a sharp judgment be to them that be in high places. For mercy will soon pardon the meanest, but mighty men shall be mightily tormented. For he which is Yahuwah over all shall fear no man's persons, neither shall he stand in awe of any man's greatness. For he hath made the small and great and careth for all alike. But a sore trail shall come upon the mighty. Unto you, therefore, O kings, do I speak that ye may learn wisdom and not fail away. For they that keep holiness holy shall be judged holy, and they that have learned such things shall find what to answer. Wherefore, Set your affection upon my words, desire them, and ye shall be instructed. Wisdom is glorious, and never fadeth away. Yea, she is easily seen of them that love her, and found of such as seek her. She preventeth them that desire her, in making herself first known unto them. Whoso seeketh her early shall have no great travail, for he shall find her sitting to, at his doors. To think therefore upon his perfection, her is perfection of wisdom, and whoso watcheth for her shall quickly be without care. For she goeth about seeking such as are worthy of her, sheweth herself favorably unto them in the ways, and meeteth them in every thought. For the very true beginning of her is the desire of discipline and the care of discipline is love and love is keep is the keeping of her laws and the giving heed unto her laws is the assurance of incorruption and incorruption maketh us near to Elohim therefore the desire of wisdom bringeth to a kingdom if your delight be then in thrones and scepters O ye kings of the people, honor wisdom, that you may reign forevermore. As for wisdom, what is she? How she came up, I will tell you, and will not hide mysteries from you, but will seek her out from the beginning of her nativity, and bring the knowledge of her into light, and will not pass over the truth, neither will I go with consuming envy for such a man shall have no friendship with wisdom but the multitude of the wise is the welfare of the world and a wise king is the upholding of the people receive therefore instruction through my words and it shall do you good oh. 
that was the Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 6. Now let's slide on over here to the book of Sirach, Ecclesiasticus, <clears throat> chapter 6. Almost done, family. Bear with me. Sirach, chapter 6. Instead of a friend, become not an enemy, for thereby thou shalt inherit an ill name, shame, and reproach. Even so shall a sinner that hath a double tongue. Extol not thyself in the counsel of thine own heart, that thy soul be not torn in pieces as a bull straying alone. Thou shalt eat up thy leaves, and lose thy fruit, and leave thyself as a dry tree. A wicked soul shall destroy him that hath it, and shall make him be laughed <clears throat> to scorn of his enemies. Sweet language will multiply friends, and a fair speaking tongue will increase kind greetings. Be in peace with many, nevertheless have but one counselor of a thousand. If thou wouldest get a friend, prove him first, and be not hasty to credit him. For some man is a friend for his own occasion and will not abide in the day of thy trouble. And there is a friend who being turned to enmity and strife will discover thy reproach. Again, some friend is a companion of uh, some friend is a companion at the table and will not continue in the day of thy affliction. But in thy prosperity, he will be as thyself, and we be bold over thy servants. If thou be brought low, he will be against thee, and he will hide himself from thy face. Separate thyself from thy enemies, and take heed of thy friends. A faithful friend is a strong defense, and he that hath found such an one, have found a treasure. Nothing doth countervail a faithful friend, and his excellency is invaluable. A faithful friend is the medicine of life, and they that fear Yahuwah shall find him. Whoso feareth Yahuwah shall direct his friendship aright. As for as he is, so shall his neighbor be also. My son, gather instruction from thy youth up. So shalt thou find wisdom to thy own age. Come unto her as one that ploweth and soweth, and wait for her good fruits. For thou shalt not toil much in laboring about her, but thou shalt eat of her fruits right soon. She is very unpleasant to the unlearned. He that is without understanding will not remain with her. She will lie upon him as a mighty stone of trial, and he will cast her from him ere it be long. For wisdom is according to her name, and she is not manifest unto many. Give ear, my son, receive my advice, and refuse not my counsel. And put thy feet into her fetters, and thy neck into her chain. Bow down thy shoulder, and bear her, and be not grieved with her bonds. Come unto her with thy whole heart, and keep her ways, which with all thy power. Search and seek, and she shall be made known unto thee. And when thou go, when thou hast got hold of her, let her not go. For at the last thou shalt find in her rest, and that shall be turned into thy joy. Then shall her fetters be a strong defense for thee, and her chains a robe of glory. For there is, there is a golden ornament upon her, and her bands are purple lace. Thou shalt put her on as a robe of honor, and shall put her about thee as a crown of joy.
purple robe and a crown. Where have I heard that before? My son, if thou wilt, thou shalt be taught, and if thou wilt apply thy mind, thou shalt be prudent. If thou love to hear, thou shalt receive understanding, and if thou bow thy, thy ear, thou shalt be wise. Stand in the multitude of elders, and cleave unto them that is wise. Be willing to hear every godly discourse, and let not the parables of understanding escape thee. And if thou seest a man of understanding, get thee behind. Be times unto him, and let thy foot wear the steps of his floor. Let thy mind be upon the ordinance of Yahuwah, and meditate continually in his commandments. He shall establish thy heart, and give thee wisdom at thy own desire. Good, good, good read. Thank you, family, for reading along or listening along and let me read to you. Um, once again, that was the book of Proverbs, Ecclesiastes, Wisdom of Solomon, and Ecclesiasticus, chapter 6, day 6 of the Wisdom series. I appreciate you, and as always, Fear the most high, keep his commandments. Um, also, also, as it says in Proverbs 2, it's 2, uh oh, hold on, let me see, let me see, let me see, I think it might have been 2, y'all, hmm, let's go back to it, just give you this reminder, let me see, Mm. Uh oh. Nah, hold on. <laughs> Let me see. No. It is. Proverbs 4. Correction. Proverbs 4 and 7. The beginning of wisdom is get wisdom. And with all you're getting, get understanding. Just read more of that in the book of Sirach chapter 6 to y'all towards the end. And also about proving a friend. Speaking of friends, more like brothers. I want to shout out my, my Bereans, my big brother. Brother Straight like that. My little big brother, Brother Makaya. And my little, little brother. Brother Yada Yada. You know, brothers, keep your head up. My Bereans, I ain't forgot about y'all. You know, we we need to link up and get back to it. But I, I understand that everybody working, everybody got something to do. And like, I ain't mad at y'all. Love y'all. And uh, I know y'all didn't worry, so I ain't got to worry about that one. We just got to find the time to get back to it. Makaya, my brother. I really, really hope I can somehow at least attend the, attend the nuptials, you know. I was hoping to be there, you know. Get you and your betrothed a gift. Had a gift all, all, all picked out, but um, either way, if I don't make it, my brother. Um, just know that I'll send y'all my love, man. Y'all got my love already, so okay. I'll, I'll continue to pray for that one. Um, brother, straight like that. Keep doing what you're doing, bro. You ain't alone. Um, you you stay on my brain a lot, my brother. So it's um. It's good. I ain't forgot about you, bro. It's just be either caught up at work or out here with the little girl, man. But uh, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna link up. We're gonna talk. We're gonna chop it up, man. Just just to chop it up. You two, you 
You too, Yada. I ain't forgot about you too. I know you doing your thing, man. Glad to see you back where you was at. Not back where you was at, but back to a point. Well, not really back. At a point. We we don't go back. Up at a point where you doing what needs to be done for you and your family as well, man. Good to see that y'all doing good, man. Love y'all. Y'all my y'all my Bereans. I'll take it easy, family.